Hi everybody, today is May 26, 2013. Japan officials never learn. There was a radiation accident that was covered up for two days and much worse. How many times can you say stupid? Researchers heard at Ibaraki Nuclear Facility. At least six researchers suffered internal radiation exposure when an experiment involving elementary particles went awry and up to 55 more are feared to have been similarly exposed, the Japan Atomic Energy Agency said Saturday. Another article reads, Radioactive material leaked during a laboratory experiment in Japan, the facility's operator said on Saturday, although authorities were not told of the leak for two days. The JAEA did not report the leak to the government's nuclear regulator until more than 34 hours later. We may have been too lax in our way of thinking and dealing with these nuclear materials, Teichi Miura, a director at the High Energy Accelerator Research Organization that runs the laboratory jointly with the JAEA, told a news conference. The incident highlights how Japan is still struggling with nuclear safety issues after the 2011 Fukushima disaster and comes as Japan debates whether to restart dozens of commercial nuclear reactors that have sat idle since the crisis. Radioactive substances link following the accident Thursday in the Hadron Experimental Facility of the Japan Proton Accelerator Research Complex, J-Park, in Tokai, Ibaraki, Prefecture, the government-affiliated agency reported. Officials from the Ibaraki Prefectural Government raided the complex Saturday afternoon to investigate the delay in reporting the incident. A malfunction occurred at 11.55 a.m. Thursday during an experiment to produce elementary particles by aiming a proton beam at a target made of gold, the agency said. An alarm went off shortly afterward and the experiment was halted. But a researcher in charge of the equipment restarted it at 12.08 p.m., despite not having pinpointed the cause. Of the alarm, sources familiar with the investigation said, as a result, the proton output jumped unexpectedly, causing part of the gold to evaporate and the generation of radioactive substances that leaked out of the controlled area, according to the agency. It said the radioactive leak has stopped, but not before at least six male researchers suffered internal radiation exposure. Four of them received doses of up to 1.6 millisieverts. Later Saturday, the agency reported that another 24 researchers may have been similarly exposed to internal radiation. A total of 55 people were working in the facility at the time of the accident. The radioactive material most likely leaked outside the facility because a ventilation fan was being used, officials said. A JAEA spokesman was not immediately able to confirm what types of radioactive substances were leaked. All work at the Hadron Experimental Facility has been suspended. Agency officials said they initially thought there had been no leak outside the radiation-controlled area and therefore did not report the accident to the Nuclear Regulation Authority. The leak was only discovered Friday night and the NRA was informed at 10.15 p.m., the official said. When radiation readings rose during the experiment, researchers released radioactive substances outside the facility through a fan on the assumption that they would quickly decay, the agency explained. The level of radioactive contamination at the facility stands at as much as 40 becquerels per square centimeter, it said. How did these people so stupid to deliberately release radiation into the environment ever get hired? The level of radioactive contamination at the facility stands at as much as 40 becquerels per square centimeter, it said. The research complex is jointly run by the Atomic Energy Agency and the High Energy Accelerator Research Organization. The agency's president, Atsuyuki Suzuki, resigned earlier this month over its failure to conduct a proper inspection of its Manchu prototype fast breeder reactor in Tsuruga, Fukui Prefecture. Science Minister Hakuban Shimamura criticized the agency for its delay in reporting the accident to the prefectural and central governments, and the NRA. The delay indicates that the agency lacks a sense of urgency and crisis, Shimamura said stressing that it is required to report any accident, regardless of its severity. Tokamura is where Japan's commercial nuclear power industry began in the 1950s and is also the site of its worst nuclear accident before the Fukushima crisis in 2011. In 1999, two people died after an accident at a Tokamura uranium reprocessing facility. All right bookmark my site, I'll keep you up to date, please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.